Not really, but I'll have it. <laughs> Chris, you took a little time off uh, for personal business. How did it feel to get back in the ring tonight? It's a bliss in the ring. You know, once, once you get the, the fans cheering, the blood pumping, and just seeing the, the fighter right on the other side of the corner, you're just ready to go, and that's how I felt. I was ready to go. Does that got you uh, chomping at the bit to get back in there right away? I constantly, you know, especially when I'm at the gym and I'm sparring and, you know, getting some road work in or having Henry yell at me, uh, just makes me want to get in the ring even better. Mr. Goose, in any time frame on when we can see Chris again? Sounds like he's ready to go tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, as a matter of fact, uh, we talked about it before. I would say that look for uh, a March fight for him to get back uh, into the ring and one that will uh, certainly uh, take him to that next level. As a matter of fact, I mean, it was unfortunate with uh, all the personal circumstances with, uh, with uh, Chris uh, last November. Uh, he was on a tremendous roll, and this was just to get him back into the ring. He did exactly what he was supposed to do against uh, an opponent uh, like Kowser, so we were... We were happy with that, and now uh, we get him right back into the swing of things. I think one of the key components with uh, with Chris the last few years is he's been kept very busy. So you'll be able to see that. And the other thing that we liked about it was that if you, uh, I'm sure you all heard it, I mean the fans love him out here. So uh, California is going to be, uh, he's going to take California and, and, and the world by storm. I really believe that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Like maybe a quest to being the first Mexican uh, heavyweight champion? No pressure. You know, there's pressure regardless to be a champion. Yeah. Regardless. You know, whether you're black, white, Mexican, Asian, whatever it is, there's pressure. Yeah. But I don't find no pressure in that. There's no pressure taking care of my daughter. Or, um, <laughs> you know, other than that, there's no, there's no pressure. Well, but no pressure that being a champion period. Uh, what's, what do you uh, think your target weight is going to be for your next fight? Uh, 33, 35. Uh, they asked me why not 30. I'm like, well, I felt good at 30, but when I fought Malcolm Tan, I felt strong and I felt quick and I felt <coughs> good and shit. So like, 35, 33, probably not lower than that. A lot of uh, top fighters are coming out of the Inland Empire. What do you attribute to that? Yourself, Osasito, you know, Dominic Saciro, guys like that. Well, as far as our gym, like I was saying earlier, all last year, undefeated. Yep. You know, the last the last time we lost was to uh, some jerk named... West Ferguson. West Ferguson. That <laughs> he won. actually, Jose actually Jose won, won a fight. And, you know, Henry Ramirez, you know, people don't talk about him, they don't know about him. But he will be known, and he's one of the best uh, trainers out there. And uh, like people ask me, well, who are you gonna fight next? And what? And ask my manager, Al Heyman. Ask Mr. Uh, Goosen or Henry Ramirez, because you know what? I'll never second guess him. They ask me, do you watch fight film? No, I never do. Why not? I got Henry. That's that's what I got. That's my trainer. You know, whatever he says goes. So as far as our boxing gym, we trust Henry. Everybody trusts Henry. He ain't gonna steer us wrong, and he's gonna train us to where we're supposed to be to win a fight. So it all goes out to Henry. Um, what what qualities, uh, special qualities, do you think you bring to the heavyweight division? That I'm not a heavyweight. I'm a heavyweight, weight wise, but I'm not a heavyweight. In heart, growing up, I never thought I'd be a heavyweight. I never did. You know, just a little too many Coronas, too many burritos. <laughs> 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 so like, I fight like a like a welterweight, or I try to fight like a welterweight, middleweight. That's what I thought I was gonna be at. So now I'm a heavyweight, so I still fight like a welterweight or a middleweight.